back to that beautiful engine and I think this is uh, this is the problem looks like uh, yesterday I start to assemble the uh, cylinder head before prepare the, uh, the <laughs> good parts before installation to the good cylinder head because we already receive uh, from Europe and when I start to assemble it uh, looks like I figure out what the problem is and why is that engine destroyed guys it's a funny things but this is problem with the spring this is valve spring and this valve spring this is the design uh, they have a two spring it's a small one and big one and this is two spring inside and what happens uh, let's see this this is the this is the cylinder head and this is the damaged cylinder uh, when I start to assemble it this cylinder this cylinder and this cylinder uh, the spring is good I mean it's good and uh, first and second one is good two valve is bended then I, st I start to remove the spring because I need to tap it and uh, the washer that one is gonna be it's, it's removed good without any problem but this one uh, the hydraulic lifter is stuck I removed the hydraulic list lifter and I found a broken spring it's a, a big one and small one okay I reassemble it and broken is broken because that cylinder is mess you know it's like okay I agree but I start reassemble it another one another valve this 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 and when I remove the tap it from this one I found the one more broken spring but inside small one is still good and if you see we don't have any problem with this cylinder because the one spring is still <coughs> released and return valve to close position and what's it, what this is mean this is mean uh, the main spring big one is broke and then second one is broke and valve after the loop from camshaft push the valve the valve is stuck open because the two spring is broken and no any uh, releasing valve piston hit the valve valve is bended and the piston still hit the valve because valve is bended it's 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 really a high compression and high rpm engine and after two three time of course head of the valve is follow down and start hit everything guys the problem is the problem is factory defect and that factory defect cost almost 50k for engine repair thank you hi everybody welcome back to german auto house and welcome back to the uh, second part of our engine build for lamborghini aventador and if you remember uh and part number one we pull out the engine we see the problem we pull out the engine we assemble the engine uh found the how is bad that damage and then we figure out what happens why happens like that and uh we start collecting parts oh, it's it's difficult decision for our customer because it's it's still expensive expensive uh <laughs> engine engine damage for him uh, but uh, we start collecting parts and we start rebuild that engine because new one is really expensive and the cheapest engine uh, cheapest used engine what we found it's a 65,000 guys just for engine his decision we start rebuild that engine we already found the cylinder head we found 
a piston connecting rod all spare parts we figure out what parts exactly need for this engine i mean uh, the bank the piston the valve everything and two sleeves we it's like uh, we after we found the problem uh, factory defect we replace we order it and we will replace all spring uh, valve spring all of them we ordered whole set because we don't want to keep uh, used one and because the problem maybe happens again if we keep the used one we just uh, replace damaged spring but no we, we, we ordered all set for left and right cylinder head to avoid the future problem because we don't want to spend money time to rebuild that engine and after a couple thousand have one more oops yeah it's a new uh, spring kit coming that, that kit is it, it's a two spring small one and big one uh, uh, come together but now uh, I start to concentrate for that engine and this is what we what we have we have a uh, used cylinder head we already uh, clean clean uh, before before we start uh, surface and wind valve because uh, we want to use it uh, all old valve from five cylinder but for for one more we ordered two intake and two exhaust valve also we have a uh, two sleeves over there and I want to show you what the old one this is this sleeves been I don't know if it's possible to see this one it's it's a hit by it's have a small uh like a roof uh, groove over here it's hit by a piston what is uh from cylinder number 12 that 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 connecting rod being damaged by coolant uh, hydro knock and hit little bit wall uh here is the cylinder block we already clean all service we wash that block we uh it's a have a small mark on this is few cylinder because there are a lot of aluminum piece flying inside and we have this little small scratch but we we do the horn for all of them that one cylinder being damaged it's badly damaged it's number seven and this number 12 it's sleeves being damaged by uh hydro knock and uh, the uh, little bit hit the wall we we, we start home and see the damage and say bye bye also we replace 12 in number seven for pull out the cylinder sleeve it's really uh, it's really easy this is uh what is different between sleeves if this is cast iron sleeve it's have a two type of sleeves wet sleeves and dry sleeves dry sleeve uh they press it in to cylinder block and they don't touch the any water jacket wet sleeves they is they press it in but this is not like by machine they 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 uh ar around the sleeves water jacket it's what is good it's a good and fast cool down and really easy to replace we don't need the machine shaft machine shop uh for that sleeve replacement it's easy uh removed by uh lightweight hammer and special pin for this it's easy to remove and it's really easy to press it in let me show you how this is this is new sleeves this is new sleeves this is special o-ring for sleeving uh and for seal uh jacket we just really oops just really carefully install that o-ring yeah this is o-ring place right here and if uh, if this is it's a crazy damaged sleeve you can see how is this bad that damage right uh, that, that 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 cylinder sleeve is completely total okay and then after you install that 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 
new o-ring we just wanna lubricate around and by hand press it in I will show you how to do Ta-da! Everything, uh, the sleeves and the sleeves o-ring lubricate by red line assembly loop and so in the block inside for avoid any cutting from uh, edge. Okay, it's a line pin and need a slightly let me Slightly, slightly, slightly. In a quick stop. Uh, now it's already uh, the new sleeves is already in. Uh, simple. Two by four and lightweight hammer slowly heat and it's slowly going in. I make sure no any uh, <laughs> damaged or in ground already check, uh, take the flashlight and see inside. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. It's already sit on right position. And now it's time for uh, second one. Second, uh, sleeves number seven. And cylinder block is already assembled. Then I jump to cylinder head to surface and cleaning uh, I got a new valve steam seal for both sides left and right because anyway uh, I need to uh, uh, remove the spring and I, I think I will replace the, the valve guide seals and slowly this is our tools uh, after after of course I press it in I want to take that gauge I think guys you know how to use uh, measure how is old seal, new seals? Oops, sorry guys, back. <laughs> yeah, this week I really wanna concentrate on this engine. We received all the, almost, I would like to say almost 90% of the parts, the gaskets over there, cylinder head gasket, the seal, o-ring parts, uh, the bearings. This, here is the tools timing tools crankshaft is already balanced and here piston clean it this is our plan for this for this week i hope i know for sure but i hope um, maybe next week if go everything is going nice and smooth maybe we start to install that engine but first of course first it's cleaning cleaning okay 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 uh, the second sleeves is already in now time to measure how is everything looks and it's uh, okay this is brand new sleeves let's measure Okay, and this is the old one. Mm. Okay. See. Yeah, everything is looks same. It's small difference, but everything is same. And I wanna take one piston and check clearance. And uh, I wanna, I think, yeah, I do have a one piston ring. Let's let's check the gap between between. Be between side this is brand new the 
this is brand new and this is how it looks it's a gap over there and let's check from second one yeah gaps is look same but looks same it's not mean it's the same let's me check the gap with the distals no second one no and the bigger one no try another one yes here we go uh, 0.3 mil this is from this is from old one and let's check the new one Yep, exactly same. Exactly same. Point three. Here we go. I of course I want to check another, another four uh, sleeves for the uh, piston ring up, but it looks same. I need to check the manual. How uh, what is original gap? But I think it's everything nice and smooth. Uh, looks like uh, with the cylinder block we finish it. It's ready to assemble it. <laughs> Uh, and probably today I would like to work on a cylinder head and prepare everything before spring and cleaning and uh, tomorrow I would like to start assembling uh, crankcase uh, valve already clean it and polish it and cleaning all the burning carbon from this area and I try to uh, green one valve but it's have a deep uh, let me focus yeah I think you see that was like a, this is little bit uh, corroded area because uh, I think that this this cylinder head um, it's not long time sitting on time but it's little bit corroded and now I need a another 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 valve seat is good it's no any problem except this cylinder is corroded and mostly this is to exhaust uh, intake intake uh, seat is good exhaust and i need to cut that seat i need to cut that seat because it's it's too deep uh, and i worry about uh, leaks uh, what i need to do this is new way it's really it's the best company for cutting I have a I have a uh, cutting head uh, 30 degree and 45 I check specification for uh, Murcielaga and for Aventador they cut by one angle uh, that angle is 45 degree uh, for intake and 45 degree for exhaust and it's a 5.5 uh, millimeter valve and what we want to do install that pin then we install this cutting head by 45 degree i already adjust the blades and take this and cut the valve like this <laughs> and then we clean, we cut the edge, and then we surface between seat and valve. It's already cut by by the cutting head, and now it looks it's way more different. I don't know why it's not focused proper way. I have a little bit corroded, but it's enough. I don't wanna I don't wanna cut a lot. Now it's time to. Uh, green valve and check how it looks 
and we use this this stick <laughs> guys you already know this is like old old school love grinding stuff like this i don't like uh and i don't trust any any guns machine whatever uh, i trust my hand this is how it looks after uh, compound surface uh, I still have uh, let me grab the pig it's a small 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 chip over there but uh, I, I really don't want don't, don't want to cut more because you know it's when you cut it's the valve the valve the top it is it's little bit lower it and they push more the lifter and you know better way keep like this because we still have it's a good sealed i think no any leaks the another one it looks really good and valve um, it, it's a good surface and tomorrow i start uh surface another one finish uh this cylinder head and take to the uh washer and i want to wash that cylinder head and it's already prepare before installation spring installation and <laughs> back to the engine because I, I still have another cylinder head and i need a i need to start i need to start uh install like a bearings and crankshaft and check all uh measure do all measurement uh, by plastic gauge and check clearance and tolerance uh on the crankshaft but because for me it's it's the most important uh, uh what bearing we use and uh, what we ordered right bearings or not but all all numbers uh the numbers i show you uh when i start work with a crankshaft and i show you how you how you can know what bearing it's fit for this uh, block and for uh, connecting rod because this is different different color many many uh, factory they used like a color uh, because they this this crazy things uh, tomorrow see you tomorrow guys <laughs> pam 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 cylinder head cylinder head 100% done. I mean, okay, 95 because uh, we not install uh, valve and spring because we we still waiting for valve and spring. But it's clean it, completely clean it. Uh, valve is surfaced perfectly. New valve guide seal already installed. This part number. If somebody. Need that valve, gu uh, valve guide seal, man. I think mean, easy to find, it's not a big problem. And of course, what tools we use it? This is classic tools. Nine millimeter socket, extension, and I think it's possible to see from this area. It's fit exactly, exactly good fitting. I mean, it's like we always used or 10 or nine millimeter socket. We don't have any special tools for this, and I think it's not worth it. Yeah, all seals here. Valve cover. Wash it, clean it now. It's a dryer place. And this boy. This boy. I need, I need to remove that seal. I need to install new uh, bearing. And then... Uh, I want to check clearance by plastic gauge and of course I want to show you how to do because this this that, that all new seal it's coming I don't know it's like our power supplier they miss that they miss that seals uh, but anyway without for for clearance checking I I don't need that seal this is only for final as, as assembly uh, I want to install it crankshaft bearing and that that uh some some pen and everything retorque uh by specification 
and check the clearance from bearings. Everything, if everything fine, just to reassemble it again and start assembly uh, the piston connecting all that that all stuff. This is my plan for tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. This is how it looks spring. It's a double. One more time. And here is the installation trick. This is two spring. It's mark and on. It's different. Doesn't matter what color. This is like a big mark. And this is mean it's top. And, and a small one too. Because sometimes you little bit possible to miss install proper way. And now you can see all spring mark on the top and you you just to make sure everything is right and now it's time to retainers pop on pop on here is the procedure for installation i use special balance <laughs> because you know it's a it's a long big cylinder head and this is like keeping Keep, keep, keep the cylinder head in right position when I start assembly. This is our our tools, and let's start. It's already prepared before, and pin. I use grease, just regular grease, for keep that pin on small screwdriver. And it's sticky, and you know it's it's much easier for installation. But this is my, for sure, it's not my favorite job. When we start assembly tension, I, I little bit I, I don't like it because it's little bit difficult. Oops, it's going too much deep. Okay, one is done. And second one, second pin. Uh, grease again. Really picky job. Okay, done. Whew. This is first, and I do have another one, 24, 23, sorry, it's all 24. Let's do it. Cylinder head and almost done and prepaid before installation. Uh, I'll pin there and now it's uh, important things uh, just to take the hammer this doesn't matter this is not like you don't need a hit like just a slight hit every every valve and that pin sit a little bit deeper and be sure it's no any strike from when we install the lifter and we start uh, crank and turn engine just simple. And when you do this, it's when you hit you you can visually see how it's going deeper. Now it's it's ready before installation i need to just a clean one more time surface uh, from cylinder head and from them this is how it looks after that sealant is already all around here's the cylinder block and 
it's already set to uh, cylinder number one top dead center for installation next installation for uh, camshafts and by the way we use that liquid that sealant liquid it's last uh, probably 11 years for any hour built on uh, or engine repair and engine rebuild we don't have any problem but mostly for like I, I would like to say 95% of any any car engine build we use that stuff it's really good no any problem with them and Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cylinder head already installed. Now it's time for torque. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's a cylinder start torque tightening tool and uh, the first step it starts from 20 newtons meters and let's start this is number one and come on I do have problem with it. No. And now we start with bolt torque. And first we do the it's a four step of uh, cylinder head uh, bolt, not stud, whatever you call them. It's a first step, uh, 20 newtons, then uh 85 degree then uh, 120 and then 95 but this is different it's not like just a all bolt corner bolt they have a little bit different after second step it's have a different specification this is all specification for our laptop workshop manual and let's start from step number one and step number one said this is first second third 
Jordan. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Thirteen, fourteen, and now we start set up uh, angle. And first angle, this is step number two, eighty-five degree. One cylinder head is already installed, uh, and camshaft already installed, valve cover is already installed, uh, retorque and almost uh, adjust the timing but it's still there, you can, it's, it's possible to spin. Uh, this is camshaft uh, locking tools, uh, also we installed cylinder number one in uh, top dead center, this is gauge to show in and I do uh, the mark for myself just like when the TDS and uh, of course uh, I would like to show how to install this is exactly similar left and right cylinder head and timing and timing tools and our installation procedure but I would like to show how to install it and set up camshaft and, and other things with the special tools from Lamborghini first we need to remove that two plug. This is one of the breather plug. It's not plug. This is connection. This this is the plug. Uh, and another one. Um, flip valve cover. Like this, I think it's 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 good and need installed camshaft <laughs> lifters is already in o-rings five brand new uh, lifters has been lubricated uh, by assembly loop from redline and now i wanna uh, lubricate that area with another loop this is for first this is really important for without the oil pressure and we not destroy it nothing just a little bit this area too it's a super sticky but I like that green color too <laughs> Okay, this engine assembly lubricant, it's really good stuff. Okay, uh, let's go to start install the camshaft. Here's the thing. First, of course, you lubricate that area, remove the plug and, oh, yeah, I want to show you first, not forgot, first install that four pin, because this is alignment pin for valve cover yeah you need uh, need remove from the valve cover because sometimes it's stuck on valve cover but for camshaft special tools for installation camshaft this one. after you remove that two plug you install in that area 
this piece of tools. Just a hand tight. It's, it's don't need any torque specification. Just a hand tight and another one here. Ah, come on. Okay, here we go. I already marked the area from what came shaft. This is intake, this is exhaust. And another piece of tools. This is to start. And of course, first, recognize what came shaft is it. I already signed. This is intake, and we install this stud to intake camshaft, hand tight, nothing really important, and we have an intake over there. This is installation. Uh, make sure you install that to uh, plastic o-ring. Correct, not destroy it, nothing, not damage it. Camshaft is already there. You have a nut, and you tight this nut from this area just a for holding camshaft exactly same you do with the exhaust first recognize or you can mark this is exhaust don't miss <laughs> please install that stud hand tight and install on this area uh, carefully adjust this o-ring this is plastic o-ring hop here we go and nut tight and you can install now camshaft easy it's not follow down but of course before installation we need silicone at this area after i silicone i will show how is this looks but not this area, this area we silicone uh, on valve cover, we silicone this area. Uh, another, another piece of silicone we put on this area from cylinder head. Okay, this area is with the silicone and that silicone is have to be not thick and not thin because if thick it's easy to plug this area where the camshaft spinning and this is how it looks um, cylinder head this bolt we not silicone it okay and let's start do the installation valve cover installation we have a four pin. This is alignment pin. Okay. Now it's a bolt time. Or time for bolt. We use T30 socket. It's a bunch of bolt. And 
our torque specification 11 newton meters But first, it's need to check uh, what lock touch. Okay, this is oh, one, one more. Okay, first we have to check uh, what loop touch lifters because it's like have a pressure. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, this one it's touch the lifters and we have to tie this first and from intake. Oh yeah, it's a similar one. Okay. Similar area. Okay, let's start. You you need to do it. It's really gentle. Now it's going to be installed short. Short bolt and just a not tight. It's a 15, 15 small bolt.
Okay. It's need to make sure the plastic ring. Plastic ring is good. Okay. Plastic ring is looks good. Let's finish. Just like no rush, slowly because it's pressed lifters. It's pressed down. I still have a pressure inside, and it needs to be slowly. So rings is good. Now it's time for this guy. Almost final step before close the cover and the long block is assembled. This is the timing. Okay, uh, what we need to do first and first and before we need to set up this is cylinder number one to the top dead center and this is with a special gauge. I do the mark, I'm eating about that one just for myself for there for just like not know where is the ted, uh, top dead center and cylinder number one. Then 
the timing from this one and that one is already set up this is special timing tools for Lamborghini you tie this this bolt by 20 newtons and then the screw screw is by 25 newtons this is for, for rail guide uh, here is the tensioner screw uh, I just need to use it uh, blue Loctite um, 11 11 newtons and this uh, tensioner 55 newtons this is rotate tools and now we need to tight this bolt uh, we use it for uh, APR uh, Lamborghini say it's a Molly code 1000 but we use exactly the same APR uh, high torque grease for this bolt for thread and for head now what we need to do first one the manual say uh, is need to do four step first step it's a 40 newton meters by one two three four then after 40 newton meters 90 degree one two three four then release all screws and back to zero torque and step number four tight these screws again 40 newtons and 90 degree torque but it's have to be make sure this torque it's not less than 135 newtons after 90 degree you can reach on a gauge if less replace the screw if little bit more good you're good and let's start do torque specification okay all torque specs is done now it's time to spin engine and check did we do everything correct or not and how is engine turning Maybe. i i hope i cross my finger uh, Everything is nice. Okay, what is our uh, bar? Whew. Okay. Hmm, my bad. Maybe can engine two. Oops. Oops, oops. Yeah, everything my mark is looks good. Engine is spinning. Let's assemble the covers back. And here we go. Well, looks like everything done and prepared before engine installation and marriage with the transmission. Uh, cover done exhaust manifold done, sensor, auxiliary valve done this side exhaust manifold done, uh, shield everything is retorque, the uh, power steering pump bracket here 
no spark plugs but ignition coil only for uh, closed uh, spark plugs tubes but we avoid any <laughs> drop inside some stuff uh, this is how it looks engine uh, we tape it uh, intake to avoid some dropping any bolt nut washer doesn't matter what sometimes it happens guys and I would like to show you what tools we use for uh, that engine rebuild this is crankshaft holder this is cam tools camshaft holder and this is uh, for camshaft installation I think you see this is we do the custom uh, made this one uh, socket and connect to the uh, to this shaft to rotate crankshaft this is Milwaukee guns and of course snap-on torque wrenches uh, this is quarter inch this is 3 8 and this is uh, 1 4 and gauges for cylinder for torque and of course the gauge for top dead center well our goal for today done and we starting installation really soon keep tuning okay hello everybody now it's engine out of jack and it's ready to installation back to back to the car my name is Dmitri, Dima Master, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> and I'm starting to install it, uh, the clutch back to the engine. Okay, flywheel. It's have a 10 bolt, it has to be replaced all the time uh, by brand new. And here is the procedure. Uh, hold on, 10. Yeah, this is, this is it. We have a three step for bolt tightening torque. Torque first 8, 25 newton meter, then 70, and third uh, step one more time 70. Then we have a clutch pack right here. We have a our bolt is brand new, and this bolt flywheel to crank. You have to use Loctite. For this bolt, no. And for this bolt procedure, uh, 8 newton meters and then uh, 180 degree torque. Okay, let's start installing clutch part. Okay, let's start installation. Uh, the first things you have to align the clutch pack to the flywheel. Here is the mark from factory, and this is mean install to the trigger it's a 60 minus two tooth and that one area to to missing tooth area but also we have a we this is on the bottom we have a mark on the top and this is this is tools for aligning clutch and install like this and let's put the bolt
just as slowly. Future each both. The torque range is set to 8 newtons. This is for step one. Uh, I think let's little bit open the bolts. Now it's time to set 180 degree from the big torque range and do the last step. Prepare it to last step, uh, 180 degree, and let's start turn. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and last one nine. Then clutch is done, and now we leave the engine, install the front div, uh, axle shaft to transfer case, and, uh, and, and sorry, and the uh, transmission. And back to this car. Okay. Uh, last time I pull out the two pins from the div and I mean install the oops. Somebody see the pins is flying? This is happened. <laughs> yeah, two pins and then and then front it's not front, this is rear div, <laughs> sorry. Rear diff in the front of the engine. Okay, let's go. Well, everything is assembled back and prepared before installation.
front div axle to front div from transmission transmission is already here our torque specification done and now it's time to install back a little update on this avi everything going slowly uh, just now it's with the hiring installation to right place you know it's a lot of uh, at all zip lock zip tie it's plastic and one time use now it's like too much harness harness work anyway uh, oil lines already there axle uh, catalytic converter we we uh, the customer want to install it back original catalytic he's too loud and he wanna back to back to stock already removed the uh, oil cooler this is cooler and this is oil uh, radiator I don't know it's a two of them I remove it clean it wash it inside and install it back uh, maybe plan for today check the how is harness and try to fire up to build the oil no, it's not mean fire up just to build the oil pressure and check if everything is good but it's gonna be long day okay <laughs> sorry for little mess but here is the little update uh, many parts already installed it uh, we spent another two three hours for this for this guy you know like uh, last time I spent couple hours I wash clean then today dry that intake manifold and then still a lot of pieces two time two time I clean again wash and finally with the mirror looks like everything is clean we already uh, crank to build the pressure. We, I, I precharged the filter. Filter. We fill 10 liters of engine oil and crank, 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 and then we see the pressure and shut down. Now our goal to install intake manifold and fire up. Okay. We wanna try to fire up. Check the pressure. Okay. No axle rate, just a 10 Mississippi and shut down. Thank you. Pressure is good. Pressure is good? Four, five, seven. Nice. Here is the update okay almost I would like to say like 95 97 percent done but still have five percent important uh, what we done on this car uh, assemble it we charge system we bleed system fuel system i mean charge system ac fuel engine oil uh, bleed and vacuum i use air lift uh, for coolant system warm up check everything looks good no problem but uh i hear the some exhaust leaking sound it's make like like a ticking sound 
And uh, I think it's a problem between uh, exhaust manifold and cylinder head. But this brand new gasket, I'm really surprised in why it's like that. Maybe it's not seat properly because uh, if you remember, it's have like a cone. Uh, it's a bottom cone and just you tie the front. Maybe it's not seat proper way. Uh, my co-workers suggest me just uh, take to road test and write. Maybe after they like a heat uh, ex exchange, right? I think it's it is that word. And they sit in right position proper way, but I'm not sure. Uh, now it's car is still hot. I want to cool down. This is this side. I want to cool down and tomorrow morning uh, I just need to uh, remove that, uh, that uh, int intake boot and remove this shield. It's, it's easy and I would like to retorque, retorque one more time and maybe, maybe this is help. Uh, and other things, it's good, car is it's running fine uh, without any issue, just like uh, we done adaptation test uh, for transmission. We have adaptation test for service due. Uh, of course service due. Almost four months sitting here. Uh, adaptation test for uh, gearbox, for front diff, because if, if, if you remember guys, that car is being too wet, and of course, it's need a braking period. Uh, probably I would like to take to test drive tomorrow and drive like a couple hundred miles. But everything nice and smooth. Everything looks good except that, that exhaust. But it's been worst case what happens after rebuild. I think it's nothing dangerous. And of course, I wanna I wanna do uh, after a couple hundred miles. I wanna do one more time oil change. Check how is everything looks and uh, probably ready to go. Our challenge. Still dirty and dusty, <laughs> but this is this is I want to fix tomorrow. Of course, I want to plan to wash engine bay and of course car. And by the way, uh, AC system take 640 grams with a pack 46 uh, AC refrigerant oil bolt torque specification 90 foot pound uh, please always do torque specification because this is aluminum bolt easy to snap this is not aluminum I think it's titanium but easy to snap coolant is take <laughs> a lot it's probably around like a five, five gallon of coolant. I think a little bit more, like a six gallon, because this is it's a dry, not in there. We 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 evacuate all fluid power steering. Is still we not we not uh, we we don't touch any any hoses from power steering. We just remove the pump, and with the reservoir, we just move on the side. Yeah, we not. We not drain that system. Yeah, and probably this is it. Engine after I'm really surprised. Almost fill 15 liter engine oil because it's it's dry engine. It's really dry engine. Everything like radiators we we, we clean wash. <sighs> okay. Tomorrow road test. Well, car is looks dusty, <laughs> but everything assembled back. Car is run out idle a lot of time, and now it's time to test drive. Yeah, it's a big challenge for us. This is first our Lamborghini Aventador engine rebuilt. And let's see, how is it? Still need a break-in period. Uh, uh, I think I'm a little bit <laughs> dirty. Yeah, of course, 
who is work with the cars always have a dirty hand anyway uh, 500 miles for sure it's a for braking period uh, to make sure no any problem to avoid some fail it is done okay guys well this is test drive everything looks nice and smooth pressure coolant shifting fine going to freeway to make sure everything good but not for now i hope fix it <laughs> Yeah. 